All right, let's move on now and change up our decision forest with the decision jungle, which is a slightly modified version. Let me get this running and then let's go talk about it here. All right, decision jungle. All right, here we go. Uh, similar to a decision forest, also an ensemble method, but it's an, ext it's an extension that specifically allows tree branches to merge. So if you remember when we talked about decision forest, it creates these um, dichotomies where it chooses an attribute value combo or pair that best separates the data and it breaks off these branches of trees. Well, the decision jungle, uh, jungle, I guess, because it allows these uh, tree branches to merge again, which lowers the amount of memory it takes, but also creates a longer training time, but has the added advantage that uh, it's more generalization, um, um, better generalization, which means a little bit less likely to overfit. So anyway, once again, non-parametric, non-linear, we can relax that assumption of uh, linearity with a decision jungle, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and take a look at our results. Oh, I clicked on the wrong one before. Let's finish this one running right here. All right, so uh, let's evaluate away here. Visualize. Not quite as impressive. Um, our metrics here are a little bit different too. Uh, let's do our, uh, grab our overall accuracy. Precision. I'm not gonna get into these differences right now. I'm just gonna grab one of those. Okay, so better than uh, our others, not as good as our decision forest was. All right, cool. Let's take this back to 10 again. No, I think that was meant to be 12. No, not two. Okay, let's standardize those, awesome. All right, that's it for decision jungle.